Serena lost. So I'm not a fan of Serena Williams and never have been. I know it's like totally an unpopular opinion, but I, I played tennis and was a tennis coach and I've never been a fan of Serena. I was never a fan of Serena or Venus. I don't like Serena's temper. Um, it's really, no. A couple years ago, she was losing in a final or in a quarterfinal or semifinal. And she broke her racket because she was so angry and she was fighting with the judge about calls on the court. And it was so disappointing to see someone do that. Um, as a coach and as a player for years, I would just, you have to keep your cool. You gotta be respectful of your competition. And Serena, that happened when I was coaching like 13 and 14 year olds. And so they loved her and I'm trying to have to explain to them that the way that she behaved on, on the court is horrible and you should never emulate that. All of these sorts of instances and like with the tennis thing and the dog thing, racist, because what it does is it cheapens the word racist. That's supposed to be a word that is reserved for, you know, the very heinous, bigoted people out there. And the more that we subscribe things that are trivial like this, like a dog crapping in your yard. A dog you know, doesn't yeah. even like know, like right. dogs are they're colorblind for crying out right. loud. Or or your your daughter being horrible at tennis. When you start subscribing these things to racism. Although it, I am a, it I am a tennis word. coach. Mm -hmm. I am a tennis coach and there can be some little asshole little bitches that can be racist. I'm not gonna lie. That happened when I was coaching mm -hmm. like thirteen and fourteen year olds. Mm -hmm. I am a tennis coach and there can be some little asshole little bitches that can be racist. I'm not going to lie. How could you even talk like that about a kid? It's horrible. You love the crotch fruits. You...